Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And in this video, we're going to be painting this fella. Verga, I think his name is. V A R G A. Um, I'm assuming he's Native American, possibly judging by the um, judging by the outfit. But I know there is a Native American faction in Arena X. Um, yes. I also this one is one of the ones I mentioned about the poses. Um, how I prefer the um, the slightly warped poses. Be a, a bit more. What's the word I'm looking for? Dy dynamism. Um, to the to the mini as opposed to how it should be it should be standing on one leg and it's bad enough trying to paint these and put these together when they're standing on two legs so I've left it as it is that way it has a bit of support as you can see I took a little bit of super glue to get it actually sticking properly these are resin minis after all so don't be surprised if on some of these videos you'll see bits popping off every now and again. His hand here has already broke off. I basically looked at it the wrong way and it snapped. So, yeah. Pain in the neck, these minis. Anywho. We aren't here to listen to me waffle on about uh, minor complaints I have with these minis. We're here to paint this video. This video... Again, once again, is in partnership with uh, Wigan War Games and their PG group. And thanks to Andy for giving me these minis to make up and paint. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll get me on back one of these days. <laughs> I keep saying how much of a nightmare to put, put together these minis are. They are not fun. Uh, well, they are fun, but... They can get incredibly, can get very frustrated, can get frustrated because of things snapping and very tiny bits suddenly going missing, that kind of thing. So, yeah, one of those efforty bobs. Anyway, enough of that. We are wanting, um, we are wanting our Ujit. I think what I'm going to do for this fella. He's actually do the same colour scheme as I did for the previous one. Now the previous one I did put that red, shall we say, glaze, wash, over the top of it at the end. And his skin tone has come, come out a little darker and a little redder than I was expecting. So, because of that, he looks good though. Because of that, I'm going to use these ones again. And just use them as I normally would. So, I'll start off... With Jasper skin, then go on to Dorado skin, and then Amber skin. Um, there's not really much in the line of anything else to paint on this, apart from a little bit of wood here and there for the axe handles, a bit of metallics for his um, chainmail, and something for his hair, and again for his loincloth. So I'm not expecting this one to take too long to paint. That being said, I think I've just jinxed myself. Never mind. Let's get on with it, shall we? Jasper skin we start off with. And that goes on over the flesh areas. And making sure we have a good um, coverage of this. We don't want any of the flesh looking grey when we've finished. The grey obviously is the primer. Holford's primer is used in most if not all of my videos. Um, if this, if it's a grey primer it's usually Halfords. If it's white it's either Halfords or um, what you call it, Hermi um, Painter. I got a white army painter on because I couldn't get the white in Halfords uh, the last time I went to get white. So I had to get some. I was in a rush to get some. I was hunting around at different Halfords. 
Um, didn't have a car at the time if I remember rightly so I couldn't really travel around. So I decided just to get some white Ermi um, painter. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh dear. I got decided to get some white Ermi um, painter um, primer to use. Um, so here we are. If on the odd occasion you see me using a black primer, uh, the chances are once again it will well not once again the chances are it will be an army painter one because I don't particularly like the black um, Halfords one to me it's not a primer it seems more glossy uh, it seems like a finished paint it doesn't have that primer texture to it so I usually get army painter black primer but there we are Halfords, just in case you're living outside the UK, is a car accessories store. It sells stuff for repairing, well, it sells stuff for, not repairing, but, well, basically car accessories, bicycle accessories, outdoor, you know, camping stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, paints, uh, paint prep, spare paints for minor re um, touch ups. Um, and that kind of thing, car code products more than repairs and um, I do like the primers, I was told about these when I was in the previous uh, games club uh, that they were a good set of paints I gave them a try and I found out that they were actually a good set of paints so there we are quite happy with that piece of advice because I've used them for about nine ten years now so there we are uh, just making sure I get all skin and um, there are some areas that may not look like skin but actually are um, and there may be areas that look like skin, but aren't. We don't have much in the line of clothing for this fella, so it's not as if it's going to be take up much imagination to find out where skin is or isn't. But sometimes with some minis it can get just that little bit complicated. Q Avril Levine. Um So yeah, we're going to carry on painting all the way through this, and got her paint his face. Don't want that much on the brush for his face. And then once we've painted his face, one we'll paint is her. Paint his hands as well being incredibly gentle at this point because I do not want these this hand to go flying off again least little amount of stress on these and they go to pieces like a what you call it premiership footballer in the penalty box so yeah, they um, they are nice minis though. I keep complaining about them, but they are really nice minis. Um, they're nice to paint. As I say, I'm enjoying painting these. That's why you're getting a lot of uh, videos on this subject. But I do plan on changing subject matter very soon because I want to paint some of my models. Surprisingly enough. You know, just for novelty value, paint me on models, me on minis. <laughs> um, I've got quite a few more of these to do, so we are, these are going to keep me going for a while. I'm going to get a lot of um, a lot of mileage out of these minis for YouTube videos, and 
hopefully you're enjoying what I'm doing. I just wish I had the confidence to be able to put these to have put these together on camera to show you how bad these were to put together. But you know it's one of those things. I've actually told Andy um, never play with this this game unless a he wants his figures broken or b um, they redesign all the minis in head plastic. <laughs> So, there you are. <laughs> right, that's that bit done. Next, we are going over to CD Palette and Old Faithful. Where are we? Rough Iron. Da -da -da! Not part of the uh, metallics, metallic color range from the Emmy Painter who are sponsoring this video. Um, this is a um, a paint that I actually purchased myself and I've been using for a while now so you are fully aware of how this one works and this one's going over all the chain mail so, well, both the chain mail sleeves he has and if you can see any other metallic stuff on his person not axes I'm not going to do them in this, I want to use a different colour over the top to highlight this one. I'm going to use the metallic colours in a different way this time. I'm not going to use them as the main source of colour, I'm going to use them as a, a bit of a highlight for the sleeves because really there's not much in the line of metallics. On this mini to use it on and I just thought I'd whip up a, a quick video this is possibly over two parts uh, just to get another mini done because I've not done any minis for him for a while so I'm trying to get as many done as I can before we go to the club tomorrow night. Um, so I've got three, including this one, I've got three to take for him. Because um, I definitely will have had this finished before tomorrow night. Um, I suppose the, what do we call it? I don't know. I was going to. Say, I was thinking of something then, and it's gone. Never mind. No. I sent him photos of the one I did in the previous series. Um, Urin, I think it was. I think his name was the um, Roman legionnaire-looking one, and uh, he seemed to like the photos. So. That's well and good. Next is going to be his her. If he if this is one of the um, members of the uh, Native American faction, I think I'm going to do him with dark her. Um, so let's start off with a little bit of where were you? a bad and black. We're switching from one paint range to another. We can do this if we have more than one paint range because they're acrylic paints and it doesn't matter. They all mix and match quite well. They go along with each other remarkably adequately. Um, uh, let's give it that. Let's just give him black hair. There we are. Now, just making sure that I go along here and get everything black. Got all the her parts that we need to paint. They all are black and coloured in because otherwise 
it's not going to look right. Just notice I've missed a little bit of the um, wash my hoojit. What the hell was that gone? see that I've missed some. That's annoying. I see I've missed some. I can't see where now. I've not lubricated this brush. It's a little bit stiff from the um, soap that I use on it. So let's just get some I wonder if I've caught this with something because it's still quite stiff bristles. I wonder if I've accidentally caught some super glue or something. Now we're we'll through with the soap again. A little bit later. Oh well. Now oh, back to the black. Um QACDC there. Change the hair colour slightly as time goes on. Bring a little more browns into it. Um, later date. We'll see how we get on with it. I don't necessarily think that all hair should be black. Mine certainly wasn't. And it definitely isn't now because, let's face it, I don't have any. I keep chopping off and when it does go it's grey. So... <laughs> there we go. It's just a case of going around and making sure I get everywhere. Making sure... It's all painted how we want it. Sometimes the light actually tricks you into thinking it's um, unpainted and when you try to paint over it's just the reflection and a little bit of shine from the paint. Yeah, there we are, that's his head all done. Now let's have a look for paint for the axe handles dryad bag is the one we're going with again we're going um, with Citadel. Don't need much of this. I'm just going to put a little spot down there and if it's burnt colour then it's only fair you use it for wood. Hmm? <laughs> 
just go. Up and down the length of the handle carefully because, as I said, the last thing I want is for something to snap off at this stage. But to be honest, it won't be the first time, so it won't be the last that a resin piece has snapped during painting. Remember the fiasco we had with. The Rumble Slam minis of Ali's. <laughs> I can't remember which character it was, but oh, every time I looked at it, something snapped. Um, one piece snapped on camera, a piece of a hair, she had long hair. Ah, uh, oh well, never mind. Right, let's go into this flesh colour. Once again, let's use it for something other than flesh. Mix it in with some of this brown colour. Then a spot of black in there as well, just to darken it up a touch. Not a great deal of it. It's not quite the shade I'm looking for. So, let's have a look at... Um, what colour should we use? Let's use some Dragon Fire Red. This is from a D&D set of paints from the Emmy Painter. I think it's Emmy Painter. Yes, it is Emmy Painter. So I'll just put a spot of this. Down. We don't want too much of it. I could have used, obviously, um, I could have used some. That's better. That's just what I want. A nice reddish colour, reddish brown colour. A little bit more black just to dull it down a touch. There we are, and that won't be lovely for this belt or this strap that's holding his sleeves on. This belt also goes around there. I have just noticed there's two feathers in his hair. So yes it is Native American style. So we need to find some paint for the feathers as well. Is there anything else? Um, I think I've got an idea for those. But we'll work on those a little later. You can see there's two feathers there. Zoom in a little bit. Two feathers, one, two, just the bottom of the hair. Right, that's that done. Next, what should we do? You know what? I'm going to take some of this skin colour, put it over here. Take some of this red colour, mix it in. And I'm going to do this little bit of a wrap that's around his leg. There we go, quite like that. Um, and. You know what, let's just go over a little bit what we've done here just to make it stand out a little bit because 
it's just not standing out I think we're going to have to do something else with that it's too similar to the skin tone right so that's that done I think I've just found the paint I was looking for no I haven't <laughs> I thought I had but I haven't. Let's go with, however, a different colour paint, Rhinox Hide. Um, as you know, this is a dark brown colour. Not much of this left. But what I do have will work wonders. I'm just going to run it along here. And just down this bit in fact let's do all of this in brown and we can come back again and pick out details and change colours later on and making sure we go there and get that band straight across the back we can do all of this as well again base coat this is not the finished colours We can add different colours into this later on. If need be. Well, it's not a case of if need be. We can add different colours later on to make it stand out a little more. And make it look a lot nicer. You just have to establish main colours first. And again, making sure that we paint everywhere. The hard part with some of these minis is the poles they have makes it just a tad difficult to get your brush where you want it. I suppose if this was standing the way the poles shows in the official um, images then I don't think there would be an issue. But because I changed it um, let's add some of this brown into his hair that's better a little different. It's not incredibly noticeable but you can see it if you look closely and it just breaks up the black and looks quite nice. And there we go and just make sure that even the sides and the top edges where it meets the skin are done that way there's no unfortunate grey the grey bit showing. So we'll do that so now. There's a few areas that we need to go over with the skin colour again. There we are. Um, it's just some accidental touches that I made and I only noticed after the fact when it was drying because I couldn't do anything about it so if you get any of those don't worry don't panic too much if you find there's 
different colour paint where on somewhere it should be. Especially at this stage. Obviously if you have way on into painting the mini and you find that then again don't worry about it you can still paint over but it just takes a little extra work to do that in that case so there we are next I said we want a, a colour for the feathers now the colour I'm going to pick one of them is file lizard there's going to be another colour to go with that as well it's a nice yellow colour so they found a little yellow bird somewhere well not a little yellow bird because the size of the feathers would imply a larger a larger bird but that for the time being and attached to that we're going to have a little hydra turquoise just to add a little colour into what could be an ever so slightly drab mini if we're not careful so the hydra turquoise so we get it on the brush and we Get the brush to a point by spinning the brush in our hand and we'll just add a little touch here and there of that at the tip of the feather. So it could be some kind of a parrot or some such macaw or whatever. So that's what we have so far. Everything he's done except for the blades of the axe. So what we want to do is come in with a wash. <clears throat> the wash we're going to be picking is um, again out of the um, out of the skin tone set. So far we haven't used any of the metallic colours from the sponsorship thing but we will be doing shortly so this is the wash we're using a soft skin wash and we're going over the skin I'm going to try and avoid those feathers with this But I'm going over everywhere else that it isn't metallic with this wash and being incredibly careful not to let it build up in certain areas to just allow it to get into the crevices where it's needed leg here, back leg, this leg here, <laughs> oh dear, and we'll get the axe handles done as well as the hands, again making sure that the feathers aren't touched, Go over the hair as well, it's not going to make any slightest difference to the hair at all. I don't think because the the actual hair colour is darker than the wash itself. But it may add a, a little bit of a tint to it, I don't know. We'll find out when it dries. So that is basically it 
all this part of the minute. I'm going to have to wait until the wash dries in order to um, continue with this. So join me again when it's dried. <laughs> 